Sometimes, if you listen closely, you can hear the sound of small businesses and Tampa locals coming together for a relaxing night in the heart of downtown. Rock the Park in Curtis Hickson Park invites up-and-coming artists and local vendors to share their art with the community. Actually, my buddy Joe, he uh, does some of the promoting here, so he just offered it to me uh, a couple months back and it sounded like an awesome opportunity. First-time audience members, who probably found out about the event through their Facebook page, sometimes aren't expecting the massive turnout for the local artists and decorated pod shops. I really liked how, you know, they had the live music going, so it set a really good vibe out here. And then they have all these pop-up shops, like local people just, you know, selling knickknacks, and I thought that was really awesome. The shop owners are often creators of their own products, from bags to organic popsicles to vintage posters with a painted-on modern twist. It's no surprise that they find success with the local shoppers. This park is held on the first Thursday of every month. Each performance has a new rotation of pot shops and performing artists. I use synthesizer, um, I play guitar live, synth, and I sing. Um, some people would call it like chill wave. Um, kind of like harping on new wave. I mean, I was born in 1980. I think the 80s are just in me, so it just kind of comes out in this like calypso, tropical kind of electronic vibe. I a lot of audience members are very loyal to this event and often make sure that they have the time to come see the performances, eventually becoming friends with some of the artists. With a non-stop positive and friendly atmosphere, it doesn't look like the concert series will be slowing down anytime soon. And Tampa, Kimberly Cruz for the Digital Bullpen.